Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to make different projects. So let's go. The first thing that we are going to do, we are going to work with this rope. We are going to make the armhole bigger. This is uh, something that a lot of people want and I want to show to you how to do it in the easiest possible way. As well, we are going to short here. The customer pin it by herself. So let's go. So we are going to take in from the center front. We are going to fold it that way. I think I should iron it a little bit to stretch up a little bit the, the hand. I will iron this one too. Okay. She wants to shorten right there. The job we are going to do is very simple, but I wanna show you a nice technique to do this hem. You can use it with for all kind of hems that you have. For the hems that are not so big, and it looks fantastic, the job. So what I'm going to do, I will just measure how much she needs to shorten, and it's at um, almost 14 inches, 13 and 7 8, and I will mark it all the way. And then I will just press a line, and then I will leave for this hem, I will leave one inch, because I will make a half an inch hem. And I will make sure, I think I will have to make it the whole thing because it doesn't fold it very well and I don't want to make a mistake. So I will go and do the same here, this side. This dress, because this is a kind of vintage dress, with the time it, it loses a little bit the shape with the washing and everything. I will cut, sorry for my table, it got a little accident here. Usually what I do, I fold it, I fold it in two and then I shorten. But you know, the measurement is okay, so it's okay. And now I'll shorten the other, the back. I'll see if I can fold it. If not, I will do the same as the front. So we will start with the hem. For this hem, we are going to use this. This is fantastic. This is a tape that is using for waistband. What I do, I remove thread until I have it in the width that I like. For this one, is because we are going to make a half an inch hem. If you want to make a hem, quarter inch, then you take a little less. If you wanna do a hem one eighth, then you take a little less. So I have in different sizes. So let's start. What you are going to do is to place the tape like that, just over. You wanna do half inch hem. So you go, and then you go half inch here. And then you just sew over your mark and that's it. When you place it, the hem on top, you make sure to not pull too much the material, you don't make sure to, to not shrink it. So just normal, just normal. This is a fantastic technique. One day I will make a bride made dress hem with, it, with this technique for you guys. But I wanted to show that you can use it in any hem you like. I use it, for example, when I shorten men's shirts and my customer get amazed with the job. Now this is sewn. I flip it to the other side and the only thing I'm going to do now is just to fold it again twice, like that. You see? Like that. Let me show you again. This is like that, so I do this. And then I do this, like I, I will do with any hem. It's just that now, this material is controlling the width. Okay. 
great, huh? I have some friends that they don't like to do the hem like this because um, you might need a couple of minutes more. But it's just that the results are so amazing that in my case, I don't care. I really prefer to do that way. Here, you see, I'm making sure that that won't go out. So now I just pull this one and I have a perfect hem, perfect. Now let's do the other side. One colleague showed me this technique a few years ago, and after she showed me that, I baptized that hymn with her name. <laughs> when you iron the hem, it's better that you iron the inside first and then the outside. And the inside, not not too much like that, but more like, like with this motion. Okay? If you iron from top to bottom, it looks better. It doesn't extend. Because if you iron like that, from side to side, the hem might extend and doesn't look good. But if you iron from top to bottom, you are following the grain of the material. So you see, it looks nicer, much nicer. So let's do the other side. Let me show you again. You have your hand. You see how it looks a little bit, like a little standard? Well, we will remove that with our, our iron. Look, like that, like that, like that. Now outside. Now we are going to the interesting part, which is the armhole. Do, 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 do. So I'm showing you the easiest way to do it. This is not the correct way, by the way. <laughs> but sometimes you don't want to waste two hours doing a job. You want to do it fast and easy. You don't want to complicate your life too much. So you have to find a way to make it nice. I will take my ruler. I talk about my ruler in another video. That time it wasn't complete. This, this is complete, it's a new one. This is the fourth that I buy, but this one have last more. Because now what I did was to put tape here on the surface. So when I drop it, it doesn't break. What I was gonna do is to mark the armhole the way it should be. So usually when you have an armhole, this part will be like at the bottom part in your ruler. So what I'm doing is basically take that part, it goes a little bit in a straight angle from here, and then it takes the curve. So this is very important because uh, this is what really makes it look nice or not. Here, same thing. You have to go a little bit in a straight angle from here. And then you go and complete the curve the way you want it, you see? So the front curve is a little bit more deep and then the, la the back curve is not that deep. The back, like that, and then comes more straight. You don't need to make it this angle so deep, like, like that. I need a little bit of material to sew, so I have to go a little bit in. Again, like that. And when you are going here, you make sure that at least, at least one or two inches is straight in the, in the shoulders. I need 
at least 3 8 of the inch to sew it. And now I have my armhole done in one side and what I'm going to do is to copy exactly the line that I made to the other side. Remember, this pen can be erased with the iron. You can do two things now. You can fold it in the center here and then copy and then you just trace. I will do it that way. But there is really many ways. If I'm a little bit lazy, what I do, I cut one side and then I put it to the other side and then cut the other two. You know, you can make the same job in a lot of different ways. Okay, as I said, I will cut them both together. Okay, I will cut it like a living three eight of the inch, like almost half an inch, but not quite. And we are going to sew. Basically, we will do a hem. The right way will have been to sew a, a bias and then fold it. But as I said, it's, it's time consuming. And if you want just to do a fast job, this, this is the way to go. Okay, so let's go and sew. So now that our hem is done, we are going to work with the armhole. So this is another technique that I have. I use this. This is like an elastic or swimsuit and uh, I use it to make it a strong, so flat that it won't take any space because remember, this, she wants to wear it under her garment. If I do a bias, bias is like at least four layers of material, so it will be bulky. So with this one, it's not bulky at all. Okay, so what I'm going to do, first thing, because See, it's starting to open. So what I will do is just to, to secure my shoulder here. Now we are okay. And I will sew it. So it has two sides, this side and that side. So I will go with more like a with this side because with the other side, I will search. So it will be all, all get, all cut. I make sure that I'm not pulling the material. You see, I'm not pulling at all. Because if I pull the material, it will shrink. And this is not what you want. And as, as you see, I am going like a, not exactly in the edge. And then I have to confirm that you see, it's not a stretch at all, right? This is the trickiest part because this is where the curve, the biggest curve is. So let me show you, this is outside. And then this is inside. So you see, it's a little bit inside because one is me cutting and the other is the elastic, the way the elastic can work and be managed. So what I'm going to do is to mirror that way of sewing to the other side. Stitches here. It has to be a slow, you cannot go too fast, otherwise the elastic, it will shrunk the material. Done. My next step is to cut to the edge of this the elastic before searching it. If you like, you can search it with the elastic on top and uh, you don't need to do that step, but I like to search it with this on top. It looks better. There you go, that's it. So let's go and search. By the contrary of before, while I'm searching, I do a stretch a little bit.
So far, this is what we have. We have our armhole. See, with the elastic that will hold when we do the hem and it's search. So we just have now to fold it and that's it. Remember, in curves, you don't want to do big hems, never, because uh, like you have a curve, right? So, this surface here, this line, is longer than this line. So, when you fold, if one line is too long respect to the other, what will happen? It will shrink the material. So, if you make just a little hem, still there will be difference, but it's manageable with the material. Here I am pulling just a tiny bit of material and it doesn't matter that I'm pulling the material because remember that we have an elastic. So it won't look pulled, but if I don't pull, then it will look shrunk. So this is basically what we have so far, you see? So now we just have to go and iron it. Same thing, same concept. If I go from right to left or left to right, it's not good. So I have to go more like on top. Look, see, it's so flat. So nobody will notice this finish, you see? If you see, there is like a kind of a little wrinkles like that. So if the wrinkles are like that, I will iron now in this direction. Well, I hope that you like this video. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.